Hello, I'm Andrea from the Creative Dream Incubator and today in my dream journal, I am back to my regular dream journal, the small hardcover one. And um, this is the page that I shared last week about working with the quality of joy. And then after that, I ended up asking myself the question, what supports my dream? And just feeling like, I mean, it's interesting when I need feel like I need more support I kind of look at how can I support how can I offer support right and so also because I feel like I'm in a, a bit of a time of, of transition um, this just felt like a good question to ask and what supports my dream is a good question to ask regularly I would say if you're working on your dream so I had stuff like taking good care of me having routine and structure uh, taking daily steps breaking things down into small steps Listening to my intuition, I wrote listening, but I would have to say acting on. It's, it's fairly easy to listen to intuition and it's a different story to act on it and your dreams need you to act because um, your dreams need you to be brave. Um, so me being happy, being brave, being inspired, being well rested, um, sunshine. I was really noticing, um, like in, in my loft, I have these huge uh, south windows and it's sunny and we had a few, uh, rainy days and it just felt like ugh, like the energy is gone like I, I need sunshine although there's not a lot I could do about it but I can um, just appreciate it when it's there so then I had stuff like authenticity hard work daily practices for creative self-care um, making my own clothes which is a funny one but it helps me feel like I'm being more true to myself and that helps me um, it's like it helps me make my helps me um, feel like my dreams are more possible um, so and sometimes these things when you look at what supports your dream and um, like some of these things I'm saying might make no sense to you sometimes your things will make no sense to other people that's totally cool um, so picnics friends and then I got the big one staying full and buoyant so it's sort of really really um, coming to see here um, I had like staying hydrated, feeling love, staying committed, pushing myself gently but firmly because being out of my comfort zone, um, I have to be out of my comfort zone in order to give my dream what it needs. And so I need to feel uh, nourished and buoyant in whatever way I need to feel those things in order to be able to stay out of my comfort zone long enough to do what my dream needs me to do, right? Um, like our dreams are our soul calling us towards our potential. So your dream is always gonna push you, it's gonna push you right to where you you wouldn't go on your own or you don't wanna go, the things you're afraid of because your dream sees the bigger picture. And um, it's through facing fears and obstacles that we actually grow into who we really are. So um, it's a really cool process and it's kind of a, it can be a scary process and so, we need to take care of ourselves, so that was cool. So I did this thing about what supports my dream and ended up being all about what I'm needing right now <laughs> for my own support because I know how to support my dream. My intuition and my dream are give, sending me clear messages about what I need to do, so I need to make sure that I'm able to act on that. So that's what's happening in my journal today, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.